So hello everyone, my name is Het Hukuma. I'm the chief expert for avionics and electrical systems uh, at IASA. Um, I'm here to present a few slides to you on the, the use of mobile telephony for what we call eye conspicuity um, for general aviation and rotorcraft operating in use space and possibly beyond. So mobile telephony um, may offer many benefits for eye conspicuity. Um, we define eye conspicuity as being electronically visible to others. Um, and, the ben and these benefits are that it's affordable, um, it's widely available. Um, we don't think that we need to uh, implement a specific infrastructure as we may have to do for other systems. And there will be few, if any, installation requirements. Now, obviously, there are some drawbacks to the use of mobile telephony, too. And uh, there are certainly some questions that have been raised and continue to be raised. One is whether the coverage is sufficient. The second one is whether the integrity and latency of the system is adequate. Um, is it good enough for safety of life? And are there any legal constraints? In order to get answers to at least some of those questions, we launched a study back in 2021 um, into the feasibility of the use of mobile telephony for electronic conspicuity of manned aircraft. The study did confirm the feasibility, but it also highlighted a few areas of concern. Um, and we'll go into these areas in a bit more detail in the next slide. So the study essentially highlighted three concerns. One was the possible high bandwidth utilization. This is not necessarily um, a result of using the an eye conspicuity app, but it may be caused by other apps um, operating in the background that may be downloading or uploading large amounts of data. And that could be a concern for the stability of the um, ground-based um, telecommunication system. Another potential concern is roaming agreements. Um, what we would like to see is high availability and wide area coverage. And this requires a, a slightly different approach to roaming agreements than we have currently in place. And finally, there have been legal constraints and there still are legal constraints in some uh, EASA member states on the use of mobile telephony for aeronautical purposes. So we came to the conclusion that the use of mobile telephony is technically feasible, but that we need to work, continue to work uh, on the roaming agreements and to clear country specific restrictions on the aero use or spectrum that is allocated to mobile telephony. Um, as these currently impede the introduction of this technology um, in all EASA member states. The AMC that we drafted uh, and that we proposed to CERA 6005C includes provisions to allow the use of mobile telephony when we have been able to clear these constraints. Now, as part of the next steps, we will engage in discussions with the Commission, that's both DG Connect and DG Move, and with the Electronic Communications Committee of the Conference of European Postal and Telecommunications Administrations to see how we can best uh, work together to have these legal constraints removed. Unfortunately, we're not there yet, um, but it's certainly something that we will be working upon in the coming year. and. With that, we hope that we will be able to um, allow the use of mobile telephony um, as a means um, for pilots of general aviation and rotorcraft to use to make themselves conspicuous in use space airspace. Thank you very much.